Okay, so I got an order for four dozen tilapia fingerling. Stay tuned. Hi everybody, welcome again to another episode of Fish Keeping Jamaica. Welcome to my channel. Okay, so someone communicated, well, should I say, linked me on, um, or should I say, yeah, sent me a message on YouTube and share an interest in purchasing some of my fingerlings um, after watching some of my videos. I feel good guys, I really feel good. All right, so they ordered four dozen fingerlings, right? These are the three dozen. The larger ones are in this container. This is a little bit dirty right now because I tried to use the water in which they were actually in, right? This water was actually caught um, yesterday in preparation for the whole transition process but after looking at the 12 larger ones i decided not to actually combine them here because i never wanted um fighting or any issues with the larger ones and anyone jumping out okay so what is this video about this video is about trading tilapia right trading your fish okay so first things first now um because i'm planning to actually trade this fish with a client there are certain steps that i took so as to ensure that the process rolled through very smoothly this process should start tomorrow right so what i did right first to extract the fingerlings these are this is where they actually originated right to actually extract uh the fish from the space i had to drop some of the water use my little you know, skills so as to get um 36 fish from the space right and then i got well the water was already secured from yesterday right then i got um another 12 from this space right now these are larger fish they're a little bit more harder to catch and so i had to drop the water very low Presently, I am actually refilling, right? Uh, which is a good thing for them. Uh, during the refilling process, you know, I put some aloe vera in the water so as to ensure that the amount of stress that they actually experience limited, right? So right now, the water is laced with aloe vera. I run entire leaf, aloe vera cut up fine, fine. I think I have some of the, the things in which I, you know, yeah, aloe vera cut up all of that, right? Uh, this video is like an impromptu video, so therefore I never really decided to do something like this. Alright, so these fish are roughly like 2 inches or more in size, right? So one dozen of these, right? These fish are kept within a separate space, away from where they originate, and uh, away the whole process of being caught, um, usually. I place them depending on the size of the bag um, in separate bags for example it's three dozen so I might it depends on the size of the bag I might um, package them six six or that's if the bag is small that's small small in with not necessary length right uh, or I might bag them 12 12 by 12 so therefore um, roughly this would run about probably about three bags right okay I try my very best not to feed them on the day in which I am going to be trading them. So I would actually feed them the day before or the night before, right? They will poop a lot within the space. No worries about that. Water will be changed and a different set of fish will be placed in this space, right? These are the original owners of the space. It is roughly three quarter inch. Or should I say no not three quarter inch a quarter inch tilapia right um about roughly about four or five dozen of these right here right and they were here so I, I removed them so as to get these to have the space now the trading will be done early in the morning so therefore I won't be able to go into the pond in the morning to actually catch the fish so I catch them place them here and um await the baggage meaning the bagging right on the day as i said before i do not feed them and then now i will pack them into the motor vehicle and i will be heading off to trade them 
I won't be um recording the process of you know exchanging you know, the fish this time around. I did it about probably twice. Um, in my sea face, I won't be doing it now. Um, this is a private matter, right? So it's it's just a process. Right? I'm just I'm just sharing with you the process. After this space have been vacated by these fish, I will not be using this water, regardless of tilapia, tilapia, right? Um, I will rinsing this container and I'll be catching fruit, um, fresh water and I'll be placing back again these small um, tilapia and fries in this space that will sit here for another probably about three or so weeks then now they'll be moving from one space to the next and um, probably I might be trading some more in the near future uh, so the tub again will be used right so these are the larger ones yeah the larger ones they are hiding right don't worry about the green water or oh, it's massive on the day of trading they will be given clean nice water um, to actually be you know movement for to facilitate the movement right so that's it that's how i do business all right it's minutes after six in the morning I know that I said that um, the video is about to end, but I just got a call from the client in which I am actually going to be trading the fish with. And guys, they want an a next dozen. So now I'm going to have to probably, well, not probably, I'm going to have to catch another 12 um, tilapia from out of the pan. It's a little bit dark. I don't know if you can see. So I'm going to try to see what I do. All right? Cool. I'm not sure. Alright, so I have um actually caught an additional twelve still up here for my client. This is what you do when you're a businessman, when you are you know, you are trying to be an entrepreneur. You go the length and the breadth for the person who I do with businesses. So I have caught I have caught the additional twelve. Right? And these will be packaged along with um the ones in which I have and I will be preparing to go out. Now I'm gonna be sure with you how I package them and then I'll end the video. Alright? So I am, um, I don't like these bags because these bags are slim, so therefore I only can put probably six of the large ones in it, right? So these are the fish I just caught, I'm going to be placing them in it and I'm going to be throwing away the water, right? So I don't want the water that was in the pond to be in the plastic. So, I'm going to be doing this for all the fish. Right. And these are, I'm going to ensure that I have oxygen in the pan, in the, in the bag. When I do this, this should last for about, probably about 3 hours, the amount of air. I was at the pet shop, you know, I have a pet shop. I would have um, oxygen, which will probably last for another six hours. And as I package the, the fish, as I package the fish, these are 12. I just caught these. Alright, so I'm going to be placing them in the pan. And I'm going to be doing that for the next four dozen. So these are the package still up here for sale today. Notice I um actually double the bag and for the larger ones I place six in each bag. They are placed into a, a container which disallow them from actually shaking and bouncing, give rise to the bag actually bursting. Right? And in addition to 
then being in the bag like this i'm going to be placing two new bags should in case any of them actually burst now i will carry a bucket of water but i'm not going to be doing that now today so this is it this is the final end of this video um trading five dozen uh tilapia to a client some roughly about a hundred kilometers from where i'm at i'm gonna be meeting them halfway so um we do the exchange for the money and the fish bye guys peace out oh so that's it that's how i do business and i find that I find that um you know doing this business helps me to stay focused in whatever I'm doing right I am more alert I'm more responsive I'm more um responsible I'm more dedicated to not only fish keeping but also my family my 95 work and my natural space around me also um I'm not ignoring the, the, the fact that um, this side hustle, yeah, I call it side hustle, right? Um, sometimes pay the bills, right? Sometimes, I don't know about you, probably you're rich and you don't really need the side hustle. But for me, this side hustle, sometimes pay the bills, sometimes buy gas, sometimes pay the, um, you know, the lighter, whatever, food or whatever. So it works for me. And um, I, 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 I am just grateful for persons who have been supporting me, whether it is the ornamental fish um, side of my experience. Uh, goldfish are not really here right now. They might be coming up soon. Whether it is the ornamental fish side or the food fish side, I'm very grateful to everybody who have actually um, shown interest um, in my fish keeping experience I appreciate you all thank you very much guys oh goldfish coming up now fast inquisitive should I say right um, thank you very very much and um, I hope that we can actually expand our relationship beyond the fish keeping similar you know videos which but but it really a different sphere for example i be i be looking at um restaurants and fish meals for example i be going to burger king and um and mothers and juicy beef and um popeyes and kfc to test out their fish meals in the very very near future so that will be a series about probably about seven videos in that series it is hope that you will find that those series of videos um interested and that you will join me in my quest to find out um how fish taste in jamaica in a meal peace out guys have a wonderful day bless up